And we're continuing our battle of the hard AI on Gloomhaven. We are going to head to the Crypt of the Damned here on Legendary Tactics. So we are looking at the world map here. Yeah, and, and we're just going to uh, go in for a quick city encounter here. So we're going to be looking um, to see what happens in, in uh, our city encounter. With yes. the uh, we're we're at the, we're at the Market Street, the browsing some wares. Yeah. And there's a vermling. Are you gonna pay for the? Oh, thing? you never trust a vermling, NATO. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that. No, you never trust a vermling. I kill vermlings. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're we're heading slightly north here to the crypt of the damned. Uh, okay. The object the object is gonna be to you got to kill everything in the room. Okay, well, that's uh, very straight, straight, straightforward. Pretty, pretty very straight straightforward. Cut. Yep, yep. There's uh, there's a fair bit of uh, baddies, you, as we'll, we'll see soon enough. Yes. Uh, now, our encounter on the way there. So we can sell the man a stamina potion or politely decline and move away quickly. We're quickly on our yes. way. So we'll just we'll just get out of there quick. You know, I sometimes I like those options just to bail out and not worry about what, uh, you know, positive or negative could befall us so yeah yeah sometimes it's because yeah sometimes it can be good and other times it can just sink your mission yeah yeah like you, you can sometimes start off with like you know three or four damage right off the hop it's that's yeah it's a bit to dig out from so yeah now the last mission uh it, the last mission you did was very linear in terms of how to beat it like in some cases you literally followed a path through a bunch of objects to get to the uh the monster and then on to the next room um is this one a little more uh, so this interesting? one uh as far as the linear path i'd say it's a little there's a little more to it okay uh, and we're gonna we'll get into that in a minute so we're just doing the uh i just missed You're be my the berserker. zealot for that. Uh, take that goal. And yes, and the aggressor here have one or more monsters present at the at the map at the beginning of every round, or loot yeah. five or more treasures. I never loot, so yeah. I'm going to go with the monster. I, I don't have time. You, you just don't have time yeah. with the hard AI. So, yeah. uh, if you were playing maybe the normal or the beginner AI, you, you could potentially, you know, looting, and especially if you're just there basically to get you some loot. That's not a bad, yes. uh, not a bad yeah. perk to pick up. So. So right away you can see like the the room is you were just talking about the linear path you know we we got a pretty open concept room here got some okay. traps in there to worry about yeah uh, we got the one elite uh, skeleton there the archer in the back okay interesting so, so yeah so that's uh, that's one that you're gonna want to take out first or what's the uh, what's the game plan well you, I like, really want to focus the... on that elite I, I, I or just at least getting one of the skeletons down right away because you don't want yeah I always try that's the, one of one of my goals is all right let's try and whittle down at least one one enemy you know it, mm -hmm. hit, hitting hitting all three of them equally just yep. means more attacks on your on your guys so you got to be yeah gotta be mindful of that so interesting um, now it's a matter of two balancing, you know, who I want going first. And I've got the, I've got the scoundrel there with a, a very low initiative of three. Mm -hmm. So the scoundrel will be heading, definitely be kicking it off. Cause, uh, berserker actually their berserker's lowest number is 16. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. I was watching, um, a, a couple of video reviews on Gloomhaven and they said it's kind of, Interesting, interesting how the monsters, generally speaking, um, end up with initiatives kind of in the middle. So you can you can kind of pretty much choose whether you want to go first or second most times. Um, sometimes yeah. you get surprised, but uh, a lot of times the monsters actually end up with a, a initiative somewhere in the middle. And, and so, uh, you know, if you're the scoundrel, certainly you're very, very, very likely to go first. Well, yeah, when you have a lowest three, yeah, your odds are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and right. uh, the Berserker is maybe going to go last, but that, you know, either way you get to go back to back typically. So, well, and you it, if, you look, if you look at the initiative here, like, you know, yeah. six, uh, 29 for the archer and then 81s for the skeletons. Yeah, so. yeah. So. Um, so, but anyway, it was just, it was interesting. Um, yeah. To, and I have noticed, about it. speaking to that as well, I have, oh, that was a good shot there. Yeah. Hit the four damage. Oh, nicely done. Um, And and then I'm going to put, I love that, that block that you put on that. Flurry of blades. That worked out yeah. very well. Tricksters, and now you're going to. Trickster's reversal. You're turtle. Yep. 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 So uh, um, with the initiative, I have noticed when I've had to play some scenarios uh, on, on successive turns, um, the initiatives change. 
Yeah. They, they don't always stay um, uh, the same. Like they're not always so. If if so, you know, when they're going first, like the first say the first play. Um, so this time the archer had twenty nine. Next time the archer may not have that. Oh yeah, initiative. no, it's a so, random. It's a, a somewhat random. Yeah, it's a bit uh, randomized. So it it, yes. it it actually adds some nice. Oh, and there was a great kill. So there there goes there goes one of yes, the, the, nice. the skeletons. Yeah. Um, which is good. I'm down to now two, only two enemies having to uh, <laughs> put damage yep. upon us. So. And I don't mind the Berserker being up front and, and the Scoundrel in the back a bit there because Scoundrel, I find, generally is a little bit weaker on, yeah, on the armor. Yeah, it's a little bit squishy. Yeah. yeah. That's fine, yeah. So, so uh, now uh, Berserker has been... W he's going to be in place there with that uh, that wound, so he'll be stuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, luckily he's right against the elite uh, skeleton, so... Yes, that's some perfect. Hacking. Yeah, because you can... Um, yeah, like the the berserkers, uh, obviously, uh, you need you need you need a tank, I think, just to absorb the hits. That's just something that is it's pretty it's pretty helpful. Um, yes, in, in uh, especially when you have multiple multiple people on your on your team, so it's not yeah. you're not going solo, but yeah, you want to have that uh, that absorbing. Yeah, it'd be great if you could take out that elite uh, skeleton. And oh, I think he's. I, I think the skeleton's going down. Actually, yeah, uh, yeah, because I have a fair bit of uh, firepower coming at him. So yeah, and that's good because that then you've only had to take one, uh, one hit from um, that skeleton. Now the archer, the archer now, here the just archer zipped under actually, with speaking of initiative, under, right? Yeah, yeah so we which, are gonna. <laughs> even though we were talking about that, yeah, there are exceptions to it where you know sometimes a a bad guy will. We'll go first. Yeah. But. Oh, and this is actually one of my favorite combos with uh, Scoundrel. It's the Duelist Advance. So okay. move three, attack three, followed by the Thieves Knack, which is another three attack on the bottom. Oh, that's great. So you can do a whole boatload of attacking here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And uh, there is going to take out the Archer. There is a really good chance that, oh, nice. that uh, we're going to be and clear maybe this maybe both. Room. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, indeed. That is powerful. That's great. great now, job. unfortunately, my uh, my my berserker's stuck in place for this round, so I. I well, you can it, move though, right? I can. Uh, I can. And no, pick up I, loot. I, even. I, I don't think you can move, at this point. I'm stuck in place. Oh, that's what the okay, wounded well, I... the wounded boot does there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so yes. I am. I am. I am in oh, that, stuck yes, in you're place. Immobile, you're immobilized. That's immobile, right. Immobile. Yeah, Sorry, it's not wound. It's you immobile. Do. You're right. Oh, uh, what a waste. So, unfortunately, and I don't really want to burn that heal card. No. Uh, I don't have, it's not really worthwhile no, to do. No, it's so not it's, worth it. Yeah. It's yeah, you're just going to have to just. Eat, eat the turn. But you know what? For, for what happened, I am more yes. than content to, uh, yeah, to let that play. Yeah, that's a pretty small price to pay overall, so. Yeah. And that immobilize only lasts the one turn, so now we're, we're back. Yeah. We're back in action. So you, I guess you're just headed through that door. Then we're gonna head to door number two here, and uh, it's uh, what comes next. It'll be it'll be it'll be interesting to show you. Um, but mm -hmm. it's it, it, uh, it, it yeah, it's an interesting next uh, step. You're you're talking about the yeah. linear perspective, and this next room really kind of uh, strays from that theme. So you'll yeah, see. Yeah, the last the, the last um, the level before the mission before the last one. Uh, if I remember correctly, had that kind of revolving room thing where the longer you took to kill the bad guy, the more these doors opened up. And it, I don't know, it's just a very inventive uh, scenario. You know? Yeah, and, yeah. And, and I don't mind if a game has a few linear kind of missions because you got to, you know, you can't, not all well, of them. when there's 96 jazzy. of them in total, right? There's going to be, <laughs> or yeah, 98 or whatever. Those, that are, you got to yeah. have some that are going to be, <laughs> and even probably some overlap of some as well. You're going to see similar, very yeah, similar layouts. Straight ahead. Yeah. You can only do so much. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to get in here now with the scoundrel and uh, right away, I, I, I okay. plan an attack four so I can get right up next to the. Oh, uh, wow. Nicely done. Although sometimes that can be a problem for the scoundrel because then you get exposed to. Uh, a little bit. You're absolutely uh, right. A little yeah. bit too and quickly. The, the cultist can get right in there. Now, luckily yeah, I got a, a zero hit. The cultist is right there. Oh, nice. So I was just talking about the room. So you can see it's, it's a pretty wide open room. There's a fair bit of baddies in there and there's two doors. Yeah. Oh, and that's kind of the okay. uh, that's kind of the unique uh, the unique uh, twist on this particular um, uh, scenario. 
Yeah. So both doors require uh, going through in this in this round. Yeah. Because there's. Uh, so now do you do you just? I guess you'd probably just move the four and just take out that cultist. I assume. You yeah. don't need any more movement than that, eh? Yeah, and I'm not going to be. Uh, I don't want to use. I don't want to use that. Uh, the fatal fury. Um, killing the adjacent monster. Uh, yeah. Ends your ends your participation in the round. You you exhaust and die. So, oh gee, wow. Yeah, okay, so, so that's you, an all or nothing. It's it's basically like a it's like a, a suicide mission when you're there. Yeah. But I think you do get uh, is it three um three three points out of it? So you get uh Yeah. You, so you, you it's not uh, without its rewards. But, right. Yeah, you get three reward yeah. points, but I mean it does come at a you know, you're 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 playing the longer game there where you're you know you're coming back to this scenario or or your your mm -hmm. uh, teammates going to finish it off. Yeah. So in playing this, like how many, I don't know how many times you've, uh, you played this through. Did you find this one really this one, challenging? I or didn't was it... find this one as bad for some reason. This mm. one seemed to go a little smoother, especially compared to the Inox encampment. Oh yeah. That one, that, that one, one was just, Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he, this one though, definitely has its challenges. Like this is not, I, I did take a few goes of it, but, um, we, uh, yeah, we got her done. So yeah, good. So, oh man, the, the cultists, cultists are after jumping in there. After actually, that's not a bad thing that uh, the cultists went after the berserker because I'm quite happy because the berserker likes be... the melee attack. So get right in there and yeah, just come on in, start mulching. <laughs> there here. goes one. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up for because yeah. eight's getting a bit low. So we'll just yep. get some some juice get in there to take, absorb more. Now the, these archers are gonna have some some. Something to say. Something yeah. to say about my healing, but that's oh, all right. Four and, that, and another. There four goes the damage? Two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. So I want to get so, in there because then I can kill. Oh, yeah, you're, you're oh not, I can't. I guess. Ah, I had set it up for the uh, the visage, but the oh. archer was did right in behind. So that actually just ruined yes, my, my just little power play. Oh. But I can do a... Yeah. I can do a two attack, so. Uh, yeah, not quite the same, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's I wonder what... if it would have been better to take the two movement on the on the bottom card and do the uh, the uh, swift bow. Oh, oh, for three. Yeah, that yeah, might have been a, a better. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. Now, better, if I could uh, kill off the archer, then that would leave me up for the split, the visage. Now, I've already used it, so I'd have to actually do a, yeah, a, a short to... rest. Well, but... you're going to need a short rest anyway. In a, in a minute, but... Oh, zero a hit. Zero. Oh, ah. yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, but, but I mean, that's... You know, when you're new new to a game, sometimes you, you have to make those mistakes, and then as as the game progresses and gets harder... Now, see, there uh, that, that vis, oh, the Spirit of the Visage yep. came out, I do not... I, I, I took yeah, the extra you, damage just to save yeah, that card. Yeah, uh, you can't burn that one. No. Um, but as, as the difficulty ramps up, you know, you're going to have... Uh, you know, a challenge, you know, the, the cards get uh, better and scale. Everything should scale. Basically, Everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, but if, if you but notice, also you get better, you get more efficient. That's what I was meaning to say. You get more efficient. You make less mistakes because you're further along and you, you, you know, you know, your cards better and, uh, you know, everything is, you understand how the, how everything is going to work. So, and that's exactly when they change your character. Yes, <laughs> just to keep and it interesting. Exactly, and learn it all over. <laughs> wow, that's that's the one you know, and, and that's a we've talked about it before, but that's kind of a it's 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 kind of a great thing about this game to be honest, because you yeah you don't get stuck in a rut of learning just one you know one character like yep. absolutely, and you almost you you get sick of it, right? So then it's yeah, there's some some flexibility of, of learning new characters, new cards, new abilities, new yes, absolutely. So it's interesting you're going after the cultist uh, first here. Well, because the archers are split up, so then I can use my my visage oh, next turn. Oh, nice. Yes, that's true. So if yeah. I can get that... And your, and your if, uh, uh, trickster's uh, reversal should protect you at least. That's right. That's right, because seven's getting a little low. I mean, eight, yeah. eight for the berserker's not high either. But, yeah, uh, you have taken a fair bit of damage. Yeah. I do have a heal potion in play, uh, as, a, as an option there. Yeah, the so berserker could, has that, right? Uh, and, and 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 the scoundrel, they both do. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so we both so, we both got the heal uh, in action, so we can. 
I, I like to Ooh. save that though as long as I can until things get pretty dire. So yeah. Oh, and four, four is starting wow. to get there. And now, We're getting dire now, now. Now I'm going to use my attack. Si my atta oh, I'm going to use the stun or the attack six. The yeah. attack six. I mean, it would half my my points, but it would definitely. It would most likely. Yeah, but then you have to burn. Well, looks well. I don't know what you're gonna. Uh, gonna go with it. Gonna go with it here. We're gonna finish off the cultist. That's good. Yeah. Take for two damage. Wise. You know, the archers have already gone. Yep. So and now I could heal myself up for three plus. I, I'm gonna do that. Uh, the max heal again of 26 hit points. Oh yes, that's a great combo. So it's I, I've I've done, I've got the first part in place. So now I can yes. go and do the um the part two in a minute. I'll yeah. do the second card. You're gonna have to do a short rest. Ooh, and blood packed. Yeah, I it's think like I want to. I want to. I think I want to save that though. Yeah. It, it kind of stinks so. to lose that extra heal, but uh, yeah, I, I, the blood pact is a pretty powerful card. So yeah, that's now that spiked that's armor is interesting because it's moved to and attacked any adjacent enemies. Mm -hmm. So you can if where the archer is standing, I would actually hit both. Sorry, where the scoundrel is standing, I would hit both archers. Oh. So that's kind of because you attack all adjacent enemies for two. Oh, so that's, we'll have that's to do, powerful. Yeah, it's kind of a neat, but I also have to make sure that um, uh, that the archer is going to be able to get out of the way. <laughs> <'Cause> yes. <laughs> yeah. <'cause laughs> moving to right now where you I mean am. The, I, scound the scoundrel needs to get out of the, the way. The scoundrel, correct. Yeah, the scoundrel would yeah, have to get yeah. out of the way to, to really make that. Uh, uh, actually, though, with that Fatal Fury card, it's um, attack two, move one, attack two. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh that's a great, uh, great card. Lots of flexibility there, especially if you have uh, done some damage already. It, it's great as long as your uh, enemies don't have shields. I find as soon as they yeah. have shields, then you're kind of because uh, for attack two, you're not really. Yeah, it's not a. It's not a very intense not, attack. It's not strong enough to penetrate. Yeah, generally, probably. Right? You, you're unless really you, kind of you draw on. a really lucky. Uh, Lucky card. Exactly. Like on the yeah. uh, on the up. Uh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, on your attack. Number. So remind me again the unbridled power. That uh, looks. Uh, like that's it's... the one I believe that was the up to twenty six. Uh, oh, okay, health. gotcha. Yeah. So, so it's yes. just in play because it was uh, up to twenty six. Okay. Interesting. I believe. I believe. I have to, I'd have to double check that, but I'm pretty. Now sure this that is that's where the what... the scoundrel can actually do some damage as well. I, f I find the scoundrel sometimes is surprisingly good. Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, so there's my heal for From 12. The now, it does burn a card, but I think for a 12-point heal... Yeah, that is I'll take that. Uh, I'll take those. Now, yeah. I, I'm going to be able to move four. So I'm going to zip in. So now the scoundrel can actually wipe one of the archers right off the map with uh, the, the visage. Yes, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, that's that's where you have everything working together. Yep, yep, so and you I did, did the, and you healed there, yeah. Yep, I just did a. I, I used my potion, so healed yep. up. Okay, so nineteen. Uh, another three damage, two more damage. Oh yeah, and now it's time to get rid of an archer here. So that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Now one one yeah, of the. Oh, sorry. Go I'm ahead. Just surprised that visage is not a burnable card because it is. You know, it essentially just kills an enemy regardless of health right yeah so. but you've already seen how difficult it can be like even with this round how hard it was to actually get it in play because you know yeah. it's the if you've got enemies beside each other boom it's it's useless i yep. you know both uh you uh, one one of your teammates has to be beside the enemy as well so it has to be it's a pretty prescribed kind of card yeah which i find yeah, i find yeah. a lot of the gloom uh, haven characters i've come across so far have that they have a lot of like great ability but with with a lot of preconditions attached. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm excited so, to see the uh, Frosthaven. Uh, there's uh, the I can't remember the the Lancer or something like that has great abilities, but yeah, everything has to be in perfect like synchronicity, right? To make it, to it really it yeah. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. No. Yeah. And and that's the thing. I, I find myself. Um, Especially when you uh, you know you you level up, you get you get the three card choice, and then you just see one card there, you're like, oh, that could be so good. A yeah. And more times than not, NATO, I've picked that, put that card into my hand, and it sits there because I can't get yeah, the I can't, can't get the right situation. Yeah. And so it becomes a little bit frustrating, but uh, so yeah. now I'm going to be sending my uh, my archer yeah, in, into the first, and you can see what's in here now. Room. So I was just talking Ooh. about shields. 
You've got wow. some of those ghouls with, you know, two shield he- protection. Yes. And then another cultist. That's not good. Yeah, now, now you're, if you look at you, the in the left-hand corner there, too, of that room, uh, yep. by the one ghoul, there is a, a treasure box there. Okay. Um, but again, you know, time constraints just make it so difficult yeah. to get over there and actually access it. Oh, boy. And now the cultist is, is in action yeah. here. And, oh, and, oh, of course, the bandit had to move on me. Yeah, I know. Well, not too far away, though. So you yeah, might that's, be able to. That's true. Ooh. Wow. that's uh, What creatures are those? I was just, I'm trying to remember the name of them. Some kind yeah. of some kind well, of cool. Well, it'll come up in a minute, but yeah, those yeah. look uh, kind of cool. The animations do add a lot of uh, of neat stuff. To oh the, yeah, to the yeah. Mix. exactly, exactly. And so uh, this is where. So, so yeah. right there, there was perfect because it was move one, attack perfect. one. Now, unfortunately, again, yeah, I'm stuck with an attack three and nothing to attack. Uh, but <laughs> and I have a dilemma here because I have to go into that other door as well. Uh, yeah. To the right of where the archer is. So it's do I do I send? Oh, my... you split your forces. Yeah, because because well, I, I I'm gonna leave the surprise yeah. for you, but behind that second door is is uh, a bunch of nasty as well. So yeah, <laughs> and you've got to clear everything. Got to clear. Yeah, that's two. the whole objective oh. is clear all the enemies. Yeah, so. that's tough. That's really tough. Now, another problem with my uh, with my berserker I was gonna bring up is that uh, the berserkers doesn't have the great movement ability as the scoundrel. Yes. So he's got some but not quite as many card options for that. He's got that he's got the one really good one which is move 4 and then take three more damage if you want to move up to 7. Yes. Yeah. But then besides but that, there's not a lot You can't use of, that every day. No, no, <laughs> you, you gotta, get to use that like once per round and then you got a short rest or or long rest it to get it. I, I, yeah. But you do have things like say spiked armor which move 2, attack 2, right? Yeah, or, yeah, I like that flexibility. Actually, that's that's neat. Yeah, but especially it, it with just... a melee character, because um, I find a lot of times the enemies will scoot out of range or or whatever. And I remember the brute. Like oftentimes, you know, you miscalculate, and your brute just has to waste uh, an attack. But I like the berserker. Oh, it's a wind demon, NATO. By the way, wind, wind demons. demon. Yeah, yes. I saw that. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that was a heavy hit. So now, now this, the scoundrel has got to kind of like um, get out of dodge. <laughs> yes. So yeah. I'm just trying to decide how to work this because I got to heal three, but I have um, so I can move three yeah. and then attack. I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna move in anymore. I'm gonna just attack three and then I'm gonna yeah. move three and get out. And then get out. Get out yeah. of the room. Oh, and, and, and the cultist was almost. What's unfortunate though is I couldn't use that poison on the cultist. So. Yeah. You could use them on your berserker. <laughs> That's right. Poison them up a that little. That would be an interesting twist. So that would be. But yeah, what be... do you do with the berserker now? Because well, now that that got... room is open and uh, the scoundrel's out, I got to get the berserker as a as a human shield here. So yeah, got to clog that doorway. Yep. 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 And you can probably take out th- that cultist. Should be uh, an easy, an easy t- a target here, especially because I have um, an attack four coming up on the yep. top half. So that. I'll have to take one damage, but uh, that'll be worth it to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, well, the, that yeah, you're in pretty good, uh, pretty good um, situation. Oh, it was a minus life. two, but it was enough. Oh, <laughs> so that, just enough. It was that's, just enough, so that's good. That's perfect. So now I have a, I have a plus two, which will get me. It looks like a plus two will get me just in front of that one wind demon there. Yeah, um, Honorize has got some range, but. Yeah, only those, one those attack pretty, with two, with got shields. two shields. There's though. no oh. real. Yeah, that's tough. And nothing like a two attack is not going to really cut it. So now I so do, do have you, I do have that one card. It's it, um, there's a I think it was the bottom half of Cauterize was um, uh, every turn you lose one health but you add plus one. Oh, that wasn't Cauterize, and it was Blood Pact. Uh, every turn you get one extra attack to your. Uh, yeah, but you lose one health every round. Hmm. So yeah, those that's... wind demons with with oh now he just added a third shield so that's great. Oh so. <laughs> yes, that's not good. Making it even more difficult. Oh wow, and they've got a fair amount of health too. Yeah. Yeah. So now. Yeah. So what do you do? Well, that's just it. You know, I can move to attack. I can attack the one wind demon. I can yeah, attack. That's better healing. Yeah. 
Yeah, you you kind of have to do that. Yeah, you try and go in that. and see if I can't get lucky with a. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. But at least this way now I can do an attack and attack, and it actually does a wound on them. Yes. Which is uh, is. Yeah, no Very damage. Helpful. Yeah, it was. It is helpful. I mean, they they do only have seven health, so it's a long yeah. it's a long way to go yet. But uh, and I do have to heal for my uh, for my scoundrel. Scoundrel just yeah. got too low. So yeah, yeah, that's. No choice. And as you get later into the round, you know, the cards that you have to burn from become, like, more and more difficult to choose from because you're just thinking, I don't want to lose any of those cards. <laughs> no, I know. You want to keep it. That's, that's to me, is, and we've chatted about this before, that's one of the, the most interesting aspects of Gloomhaven is how to manage your, your card deck. For me, that that is worth the price of admission, yeah. is that mechanic. Yeah. Um, because, you know, you've got, you've got to figure out, okay, we're at such and such a place in the mission. I've got this many people, uh, this many bad guys to kill. You know, I've got to manage this resource well. That's so. right. That's right. And you have yeah. to really... Oh, it looks like that shield boost was only uh, temporary. That was, yeah, they had a, a shield boost up of that last round, but uh, so they're back down to two again. Yeah. Um, now, just I'll, I'll point out that uh, both those wind demons are not... Um, uh, they are not uh, the higher level uh, enemy, so I can actually yes, take them they're out. They're not elite. They're not elite, so I can take them out with my um, spirit of the vis or the visage. Oh, yes. So if I can plan it right uh, and and coordinate yeah. it, so then that uh, could potentially now uh, scoundrel's best movement is five. Yes. So scoundrel's so not going to be able to. Three. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to work. No. But uh, I mean, the four attack from uh, uh, from Berserker that that'll be helpful. Yes. And then. Um, but yeah, it's a tough it's a tough call here. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, there's a bit of and there's a lot of traps in the room, so like even maneuvering the room is a bit difficult. Yeah. So, and don't forget, yeah, I still have to get over to the other room as well. So that's. I know. <laughs> yeah, you're you're running. It's not so much the cards; it's really your your health that's the yeah. And at some point, you have to you have limitation. to and, and and I gotta get a little more healed. So I I, yeah, I took gotta, the heal. You have to. And then yeah. to get into the room, so it, which now I'll yeah. be I'll be attacked again. So yeah. Don't walk on that trap. No. <laughs> you, had to, you had to avoid no. that trap. So. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I I usually like the kind of the pull cards with. Uh, the scoundrel, because I love pulling enemies onto the traps. Or I know uh, the uh, berserker. Berserker has one push card as well in in your deck there. That's and a negative oh, one. Oh, jeez, those know. shields, those are really really tricky. Now that was a bit of a mistake right there. I don't know. Oh, if, I don't know if you noticed. I accidentally took. You took some damage. I took uh, three damage by accident. To I should have boost only, your only by. I only should have taken. Attack. It, yeah, I, but that was Ooh. enough. Yeah. Yes. So now uh, the so great news is here. Mistake, per se, if I can time this right, I can get my berserker beside that wind demon and get yes. uh, the scoundrel yep. to use the spirit of the visage and destroy it. Yeah. Except your fastest initiative is 34 right now. Yeah, so I know, I know. <laughs> now, the to... Spirit of the Visage is an 88 card, so I can I can ensure... Yeah, that's true. But that's, that yeah. probably means that the, the Wind Demon is going to get one more turn, mm, um, yeah. which is a problem. And I do have that 36 card there, or I could or use... Or what about Trickster's Reversal? So Yeah, and it looks like I'm not going with that. I'm going to zip in there first, it looks like. Okay. Um yeah, so I think maybe going for the visage might have been the better better play. Now it would have had to been there. timed right though, because you have to uh, get in there. Yes, you would have. Well, you know what you know what the uh, what the berserker is gonna. You know, you know the berserker to thirty something. Uh, okay. So what you didn't know was the uh, wind demons initiative, right? So I oh, this is what I was thinking. I was realizing that I had to get over to the other room. Oh, so, oh, wow. Okay. So I had to get over to that other room because I, I've got to start worrying about the next the next enemy. Yes. So yeah. I, I, I put all my eggs basically in this basket with the blood pack. So I'm going to lose half oh, my health as wow. long as I can take them out, and I had just enough. So for four, oh, for four wow. damage, was... I got rid of them. So now we're yes, down to the final room. Lucky. 
but we're getting low on cards, so I think that yes. was my rationale for for holding off because I couldn't afford the time. Yeah, yeah. Like I think I, from what I've heard, it changes in later uh, scenarios. But in the early scenarios, you don't have time to pick up the gold. Like no. if you happen to end up on a on a space, great. But there's no no time to sit around and li- like just loot endlessly which is unfortunate because you need the gold to get more healing potions and everything else right to, to bump yourself up yep to bump yourself up to make the the mission survivable i mean right. you're in very rough shape here so and this was kind of a wasted turn in some ways but i, I didn't want a short rest and alert lose a card so i thought it's i may as well play my cards out yes, so instead of nice uh yeah rest. so now I am going to do this one with the Berserker because I'm so low. It's it's the next four times you're healed at plus two health. Yes. So I just give myself a little extra, and there's nothing else I could do except. Yeah. But yeah. I, well, I, I do yeah. waste that card, unfortunately. But um, yeah. But you can take a long rest here. Yep. Yeah. I could do a yeah, long and if rest. You get there, a bit it, more health. Mind you, now I mean bad. the scoundrel is by no means in a very comfortable position either. So we're 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 gonna no, we're gonna you're... both long rest it. We're gonna heal up a little bit, kind of recoup, yeah. and then uh, and see what the heck is behind the other door, door. number door number four here. <laughs> and <laughs> knowing three. full well, you really don't have a lot of uh, Ru- a lot of cards to don't deal have a lot with. of wiggle room. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So, That's and I'm sure it's designed this way, but. But it's just amazing how finely tuned it is. You know, you have just enough cards usually to get you to the end. Yep. Yep. And no, no and more. And you really, and even enough health just to get you to the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Many cases. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I was looking at that number four, you know, but it's a move Ooh, five. To and I don't want strike. to. Yeah. And I, to, that is tough. Yeah. You, you want that move. You, at least you would need... never give up your trickster's reversal. No, no. So yeah. it's it's getting down. You need down all of these. Cards. You need all of them Special right mixture. now. I don't need the Vizaz as much because I I know that it's an elite monster behind this door. So it's kind of that's. Oh, kind do of, you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a little hindsight with this one. We we yes. in the previous game I'd gotten as far as that. So yeah. Now luckily, yeah, so. luckily my uh, my berserker has that. Uh, I think it's the strength and agony, and I can zip. I can zip the four. I can get four squares. Yes. So yes. give myself a good, good, and even move if I want to three more for yeah. some some damage. So yeah, I can. Time is ticking, and so is health. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> I yeah, don't, don't have a lot, a lot of, of either. No. And uh, even card wise, I only have I have four cards remaining, so I I don't have many yeah. many turns left for the berserker. Uh, you, yeah, this is uh, as I said. A lot of times in in Gloomhaven, it really does boil down to. You you will lo- usually have just enough to to do what you need to do, but it's not going to be it's not going to be much. No. So I guess uh, scoundrel's role here is to just get the door open, get the door open, and hopefully try there. and get to the to the baddie. And maybe because I, I did a move three attack three, so okay. I'm hoping with an, I, and it was the the other one was a move five. So my hope is that yeah. between the, the move berserker five and is the not th- going to be able to get there for a while. No, berserker is going to be slowly trucking. Uh, and and our and perhaps uh, may not even be able to get to the other the room. It's really this is the scoundrel's game, I would say. Oh, okay, wow. So yeah, here it is. Here it is. Before you you bash the door in, thinking you're prepared for anything, and before he stands a creature of yes. pure elemental energy. Ooh, <laughs> so yeah, we're yeah we're we're at 21 damage too. There's a fair bit of damage that we're gonna have yeah, to yeah uh, that's inflict. Oh, wow. So luckily I can that's... get in there now. I was debating: do I run for the chest or do I run for do I run for uh, and do my attack three? Yeah, see, I'd be tempted to run for the chest as well. I mean, I don't know. But see, um, then then you waste the the one, the one of the great parts of that, which is attack three. So, but again, oh, it, again, yes, if I'm a, a little true. way from the chest, or if I'm a little way from the enemy, then um, yeah, then you know yeah, you got to you got to do the it. enemy's got to move right. So, but I'm thinking <laughs> yeah, there's just no time. Yeah, you got to do it. Gotta, there's not enough time. So, <laughs> so hit him down to eighteen. <laughs> oh jeez. Wow. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And the berserker's miles away. Now I can take an extra three damage and get seven squares, so I can get myself. Yeah, you may have to. Otherwise, the at least not going to yeah. get into the fight. Exactly. At all. So I mean, it, yeah. it's best. And I do have the, uh, and that's going to do nothing. So that's just a yeah. waste. Oh, what a waste! But I can, uh, if I can get myself close. Yep. 
then I do have that card where it's the blood pact, and I can attack yes. for six. Oh, did you take the damage? I and, I, and I'm wo- and, I, and I'm immobile, so I'm stuck there. Oh my gosh! So, oh, yeah, this is I know. Tough. so things are things are looking but a you little your, bleak. You have the blood pact available. That's good. Now the question is: Do I do I use this round and really just move two squares, or do I long rest and get my four movement back? Yeah, you probably have to long rest. I do, I do. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna, and then I'll be able to get in right beside. <laughs> It's like, buddy, get into the next room. Yeah. There's a friggin' demon there. <laughs> I know, I know. The archer is like, I mean, hurry. He's uh, like, already. I'm just going to take a long rest. Yeah, you know, don't mind me. <laughs> sit, sit tight. Oh, now that was very helpful. So it was attack four times two. Yes. And great. and they gained a, uh, a wound. Yes, so. which probably won't matter that much. But even if it uh, hits for one or two. Sure. I mean, uh, with, with 10 damage and very little turns left, I am more yeah. than willing to to take it. So I yeah, can... Uh, wow. The scound, the uh, the Berserker's got one more chance. He's he, So Berserker's going to get in there, basically, and then use his Blood Pact. And that's it. That That's the game. Yep. That'll be the so game for. It has to work. It's gonna. It's gonna have to Don't happen. Don't mind that me. Way. I'm just gonna take a long rest. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I had to get yeah, rid of that attack it's, it's four. It's been so. a long day, so I'm just gonna rest up here. Thanks. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazed your scoundrel's still alive though. Well, scoundrel's not doing great either. Down to three health. Yeah, but, uh, but being immobilized right next to the baddie. That's yeah. Yeah, and the scoundrel's not. Well, I mean, the scoundrel's got a few cards left, which is the good yeah, news. Yeah, scoundrel's all right, cards wise, actually. It's yeah, so I can block reasonable. myself for one here. Uh, yep. So I'll be able to protect against this next round of damage. Yep. And and I'll do three damage, actually, so we're down to seven. Yeah. yeah so that's things good. are getting close here. So now I can. Yeah. I can move four. Plus, I'm going to have to move an extra one. To get in close enough yeah. to attack. Oh wow! Okay. See. So you- Get in there. Yep. And then I'll be able to do my blood, blood pack. Uh, and see. Suffer half the damage. And it will be enough. Oh, it will just be enough. Oh, just enough. <laughs> wow. So we finished it off. Cool. But you can that see it was, was it was tight. Yes. That was, well, yeah, that, that was basically, uh, you were down to, well, I guess. That was the Berger, Berserker's last turn. Yeah, there's a Berserker's last turn. The, the, the Scoundrel had more turns, but no health. That's right. So That's right. And no heal. Take another hit. Yeah. Now, the, the Scoundrel could have potentially next round um, uh, done a, uh, a short rest, not made sure that they lost their, their the card that blocks the damage, and, yes. and, and then head that back in hand again, but then they would have only been to attack for three or four. Yeah, and then they would have had to have had to have risked going for gold and, and a low initiative and basically trying to kill kill off the enemy with. Uh, oh, but it would have been so tight. It would have been very yeah, tight. Yeah, it was so. it was tight no matter what. But no, you 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 did it. I liked how you you headed towards the room. You you kind of measured. You're like, okay, uh, berserkers fine. Now it's time to head to the other room. I think that's probably the key moment for a beginning player to pay attention to in this scenario. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No when you got to bail and so a lot of records yeah. a lot of records met here for both Berserker and Scoundrel yeah. actually damage done 58 for yeah, the Scoundrel. That's, that's a great. fair to 48 for the Berserker so they yeah. both were Oh no, well you needed to. There Look at that healing done that. too, eh, for Berserker 29 yeah. healed. <laughs> that's a pretty yeah. solid number. So anyway. That is great. <laughs> Yeah, well, thanks for uh, walking us through this uh, this scenario. Um, I think it, that uh, there was some probably some good uh, good advice there from beginners or for beginners to uh, to use in their when they're trying to beat this quest. Yes, yes, we have a few new uh, new locations opening up because of that win. Yes, that's great. And uh, and stay tuned because our next episode uh, will be out to sea. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna leave that as a little teaser for our next one. We're gonna be out to sea. So, awesome. so thanks for watching, and uh, we hope you've gained some information. And uh, uh, tune in again for our next episode on Legendary yeah. Tactics. Okay, so we have been looking at uh, a number of scenarios here in the Gloomhaven map, and I thought we'd take a moment here and just go over what we've unlocked, what we've accomplished, and uh, where the board currently lies.
So let's take a little minute here and zoom in on some different locations. So yes, yeah, so you're kind of zooming around the map, but you can see where the different spots. We're going to go into the up. yeah, yeah. We're going to go into the Watcher Mountains here. We see the Harrower Hive is open. That's it. Yep. Temple That's, of the Seer. That looks cool. The Burning Mountain. Yeah, there's some pretty tough looking baddies in there. So yeah. <laughs> then we'll, we'll go up to Dagger Forest here. That was where the the Inox encampment uh, battle raged. Yes, you beat that the, one the already. Temple of the Eclipse. Yep. And then there's kind of like the Nomad Lands here, the Ruinous Crypt, and uh, which uh, still has to be done. And the Crypt of the Damned we just finished up. Yeah. And the Decaying Crypt. Yeah, it's kind of neat to see all the locations, you know, when you zoom back and you look at all these locations uh, opening up. So, And then, we're yeah, exactly. I just sort of give perspective. And then the Copper Neck Mountains. This is, this is like a current battle of mine that I'm, I'm starting to rage yes. and uh, get accomplished. And we're going we're gonna to cruise into Gloomhaven, too, real quick and, and show what, yeah, what uh, is given on Gloomhaven. Yeah, I love how you can get, go into the town like that. It's so cool. Isn't it neat? Yeah. yeah. And so the the warehouse is the is the one scenario currently beat, but yep. by the looks of it, there's a fair number of scenarios yet to be had in, uh, in the town. Gloomhaven city proper. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, that's great. And there still is the lingering swamp there that has yet to be uh, uncovered. So we'll have to uh, wait and see what, uh, what uh, gives there. Yeah, no, that's great. Well, thanks for uh, showing us the map and where things are at. That's really cool. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Lots of fun to look forward to.